Who's going to unpack this mule? I'm tired as hell. Who's going to unpack this Drum, a good friend shot dead by I don't know what, and buried in this spot by Coley Bowyard, his good friend, in April. Mine for two days. Spooked near crazy. Would have shot anything on two legs moving, Will. Except you. If I know it was you, I sure wouldn't. Never mind. Just tell me what you're telling me. You should have been here, will it? I can go on thinking everyone's dead, me next. I'm full of fever sick, I said, Goldie. <laughs> now become calm and tell me in a way I can understand where it's going. Well, like I said, after you was gone, Bill and Corn decided to run into Winslow. For the pleasure, Corn says. Can I go? He says, no. Someone's got to watch over stores and things, so you stay, Coley. Well, then, they go off. Not coming back till next morning, early. I get waked by them pounding in like hell bent. Then I hear them talking mad and arguing, so as I conclude they are drunk. I mean to go back to sleep when your brother Coin tears inside here and grabs up his roll mad as I ever seen. I said, well, what are you doing, Coin? Shut up, he says. I am taking your horse. And he tears back out. Sure enough, I see him throw onto my shorty and dig out fast. And there stands Leland, spitting in the dust, disgusted. How come Coyne rode off that away, Leland? He rode a man and a little person down in the streets of Winslow. Maybe it was a child, Leland says. But did he kill him, I ask? He's not for sure, but he ain't waiting to find out, and now he's running. Oh, I hate to hear it, I says. Then I crawls back into sleep, assuming Leland done the same. Damn, if I don't get wake again. Leland's voice I hear, and I don't know whose. Thinking it's your brother, I open up the flap and look out at Leland drinking coffee. I can't see nothing else, so I ask who you talking to, Leland. He looks like he's making the answer, or to take a mouth of coffee when... Just like that, his face all spitters out. Spilling in his coffee and all over his self. With none of his face left on, will it? I reckon someone come to settle with corn on account of what happened in Winslow and got Leland instead. Figuring I'm next, I jump back inside, scared white. Give me the whips and jingles so bad, will I? I can't even catch hold of myself. Is that the whole way of it, Coley? I believe. My mind's all unsatisfied with it. I don't know. It seemed to me like if Leland had been involved with the event in Winslow, he'd have rode off too, wouldn't he? Like the way you told me Coyne done. Run a man and a little person down. That's all Leland said. Maybe it was a child. He's just sitting there getting killed that way. I got no understanding of it at all. It's a terrible thing. Yeah. Give me all you got, Coyne. What you want it for? I might be going to need it, so just to give it to me. No, I might be just needing it too. I don't know all these happenings. I hate to tell you all why I look like you are. But I've been trailed most of the way here, but I don't know who. Where's your own gun? Go and use your own gun. Well, it plainly ain't there. I wouldn't be asking you now, would I? No, sir. No, not with trouble on the way. I'm tired, Coley. And I can't give me no sleep without you give it to me. 
What about me? All right. You'll be dependent on me. Whereas it wouldn't have worked out the other way around. Well, here I sit. Just keep an ear, Coley. Sure. Them with a the gun can sleep. So I ain't been hawking night sounds so they can't tell a twit from a twig. Shoot. I'm as tired as you ever bit. Will it? Hey, Will. I'm depending on you. Okay? Oh, the mighty. I'm so hungry I could chaw off my own arm. I wouldn't sit there, Will. That's right where he was at. Right like you're sitting. Drinking coffee. Go on, stole them stores in the tent, Coley. Maybe, maybe it could have been your imagination. Oh, will you? You think? Do like I say. Oh, shoot. Come on, we've got to beat on one there. It's gonna be a bunch of ugly work, I'll tell you. Just the one hand. Uh, one more thing ain't to my liking. Yes, sir. Hey! You crazy? You crazy? Don't stand there and get! Oh, the mighty, what's coming? Golly, will it? Cover yourself! I ain't got no gun, remember? How am I gonna be dependent on you standing out there in the sky like that? Shut up! I see something! Something's coming! From where? Stay ahead. A bit to the right. Well, get up here, Willow, while it's still time. Just one? I can't see. Yeah, yeah, one. All right, Coley, get quiet now. Duck back down. Don't say nothing at all.
It's a woman. Just look at that. I'd be grateful if you'd sell me one of your horses. You didn't arrive all to hear a foot. My horse stumbled and broke a leg. I shot him. I'll pay you well for a good horse and for some shelter. And if you would help me, please, I'd need to get my things off my horse. Well, I'd sure be glad to, ma'am. Wouldn't we, Will? No trouble at all. I like the brown one. The bay? Oh, well, that bay there is Will's. His, I mean, ma'am. I like that one. The main thing is, I believe Will, he does too. <laughs> I like the brown one. I won't give you that black over there, miss. He belongs to dead men, so you don't have to pay for him. Coley, fetch uh, Leland's pony out just to ride along. What about coins, Will? Uh, you look stove up. Ellen, I don't want to be stuck with him. Are you looking at me, Mr. Gashade? How do you come by that name? I hear you're a bounty hunter, Mr. Gashade. I wouldn't name myself as that. No. It was just a way of making wages once. And now? Mining suits me just. Well, you look less than prosperous at it. How much would you ask to take me across the Suplicio to Kingsley? I ain't asking. I told you I'd pay you very well. And I said I'm doing just fine. Look at me, Mr. Gashade. Without perishing from the tricks of my own mind, how could I possibly get to Kingsley on my own? Well, I ain't the only one knows the way, ma'am. But it's you I'm asking. Please think about it. That's just what I'm doing. Real nice pony out here, miss. Looks to me like you're running to death, though. Good pony like this, hard to come by. What'd you shoot him for? There ain't a broke or unsound bone in his body. I'll give you 500 now and 500 when we get there. How long would it take? Two weeks, three. How much gold could you dig out of this mine in three weeks, Mr. Gashade? Three weeks? Let me figure. All I'd say being it's a... Uh... Pretty dead hole, I, uh... Well, it wouldn't be a hell of a much. Would you say, Will? Yeah, I'd done the best I could for old Lee. By the time I got out my gun to help, why, he was already dead. And what would Will's brother run off? Well, it was only me. To do the best I know how. For old Lee and Drum. It isn't April. What's that? It's March. Oh, his good friend in March? She don't like me much. I don't know. Sure holds out good wages, though. Yep. But for what, she don't say. Take her to Kingsley, she say. We'll see. We're going? I don't know. What, Will? Well, if Coyne got in bad, he went and harmed someone or killed someone, 
A man and a little person? I'm wondering why nobody's come out here looking after him. Maybe it was a child. Ma'am, I got a... This water is not clean. In fact, it's stagnant. Oh, please. Oh, hold on. Frogs breed in this water? Not frogs. Well, what then? Oh, other things. Here. Oh, oh! oh I'm sorry. Whoa, well, phew, what is that? Well, it's all I could find. Some type of snakes uh, know what to take a raw in that water. And this water? Oh, yeah, and uh, people been known to swallow one of their little eggs and it'll hatch out inside them without they knowing it till it's too late. What do you mean, too late? Well, suppose it was a poison snake and it hatch out hungry, as they do. Well, what's it going to eat but the nearest thing to it, and that's you. <laughs> Not me, because I didn't swallow any of it. Well, <laughs> you're lucky, then. <laughs> Say, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, I've been considering and uh, i got an offer to make. Say, ma'am. I'll take you up to Kingsley like you asked, but now Coley here is going to have to go along with me. And that's why I'm asking a thousand dollars. Suppose I can pay him, too. And then there's that five you mentioned when I get you there. That's it. It's my offer. All right. Not fine, but all right. Let's get started. Take it, Charlie. No, you take it, Mr. Gachet. I'm ready to go. We'll go tomorrow. Now. Morning always makes a good start. Would you like to go with me now? Me? Well, sure. Coley? Take up the bunny, then. Coley? Go on! Coley? What, Will? Back the mule. No mule. I do not intend to be held back by any mule. Well, ain't nothing holds you back like no fiddles, ma'am. No mule! <laughs> Plain egg, glad as spavin' wind broke damn troop neck, galled, stumbling, corn what it stuck me with. Take a Charlie was as sound as a nickel. Hell! You can't haul no pale pink, ratty, wall eyed devil mule behind no horses. Ain't got the strength to switch flies. Phew! No kidding. This ain't no fun. Howdy, miss. We're stopping, I guess. She sold again? In fact, the grub out of those mules, let's eat. Try and be a little more pleasant. Is that mule tethered, Coley? 
Do you sure have a pretty way? I surely don't ask that you be fond of me. Send him you. Fond of me. Surely fond of me. Hold it off. Not even snake water could be more poisonous than this coffee. Ma'am? Uh, do you think that maybe I can call you by your name or something? I mean, of course, uh, miss this or that, you know, and respectful, until you knew me better. All right. You just tell me what is your most favorite name. Well, uh, my most favorite name? Mm -hmm. Let's see. My most favorite name is... Glory, sure is hard to think of a lady type name. Let's see, uh, well, uh, yeah. There's my mama's name. I know that one. But now, I never did call her that, though. You know, just mama. That's all right, Coley. You just tell me what was it. Let's see, uh, my daddy called her by, uh, Hortensia. Well, don't ever call me that. Well, Ma'am? Just could you tell me what, though? Hush. She's been japing you, can't you sense? Now quit her before you get talked off. Ah. Didn't you hear what she say, Will? She called me Bacoli. She say, that's all right, Coley. Boyard, his good friend and, I don't know, something's been scratched off. Looks to me like somebody settled with one of them. Yeah, it looked like. You gonna want to find out? Well, it don't matter. What about the other one? We'll be anywhere. Well, might be they're just trying to throw us off with this here grave. Well, then I'm through. You mean we ain't following? Hell, I got my duty. Ma'am, you ain't sleepy? Come on, let's get started. Where's the mule? I told you to tether the mule. I did, Will. Ain't he there? I did, Will. I hobbled him. Right over here, I swear. You see, this here's what I catch on. Well, somebody just went and unattached him. Will you please help me? I wouldn't do that by you, ma'am. Fraser's laying back his ears. He just likely let fly. Exquisite. Curse it, hellish son. Well, blow on your wrist. Oh, shut up. You mind telling me why we're going to Cross Street? We're going to Cross Street, huh? What for, will it? Well, fresh horses, huh? That's right, fresh horses. <laughs> so long, old funeral. March. <laughs> Holy. Get two horses and as much storage as you can pack on behind the three of them. And no mule? No mule. Only two ponies, Will? How about old Fraser? He's sound, only two. Wait, Will. See, could I have me a little of that money for myself? What for? Oh, shoot, nothing. Just so I could, you know, get me some doof on these. Hell, something. You just get them horses packed and uh, get yourself a gun. You got that? You just come from over there and seen this friend of mine. Uh, did you, a woman? Uh, well, that's all right. Uh, I'm traveling right along with her. Uh, what's her name? Uh, I saw a yay. Huh? Hold on here. Now, listen here. You tell me who she is and what she's doing over there. I'll break you in half. How do you people? 
What do you mean, a paper? Writing? Yeah, a letter? Do you read? Uh, who give it to you? Bear. Bear? Bear, man. You a bearded man? That's all, no name. Bear, man. Well, where'd he go? Far. North. Far. Ladies, I'll not live on a thin lady. Shorty? Is that Shorty? I will. Look who this is. My old Shorty. All done. With a real bad crack foot. Coin been here. Where's he at, do you ask? You ruined him. Traded him off. The man's gonna get rid of him, he says. Because he ain't no use. Well, what'd he tell you of coin? Ah, eh, just nothing. Corn come here a while back, and he just left a couple days ago. The man don't know where he's either, because I asked him all them kind of things. So he don't know nothing about it. Just sold him a horse. Even poor old Shorty. Well, what hey, Will. What's he running from? Well, he wasn't running. The man didn't say he was. Hey, Will. Could you give me... Fifty dollars? I want this one. Change my saddle over to this one. Right off. What do you want fifty for? Oh, you know. So if you want. Well, sooner or later, Coley. What's fifty dollars, Will? So let him stand and eat till I get back. You want a piece of candy, Will? Now you begin to earn your pay. Kingsley? We'll see. Plan to shoot a bit. What if I just up and pull out? Eat the money. Unless I know right here and now what you're after. You're not the only one who knows the way. something in there? Day and a half, near two days old. Getting good at that, ma'am. So are you, Coley. Me? So is Mr. Gachet. We're making time. Why are we all the time hurrying? What is, what's the play here? I'm the one getting all the dust.
I'm just singing. It's all right, Coley. And I done real well. Tell the boss said, boy, go and get some help. Sure you don't want to lie down. How's the trail? Pretty cold. But you'll pick it up, won't you? That's what I was supposed to do, ain't it? Not if you're a gold miner, Mr. Gashade. Oh, they in the herd, and the boss said kill it. So he shot him in the rump with a handle of it. Will it? Look over yonder, Lee. Yes, sir. Might be some folk, huh? Maybe so. Maybe so. He seen us too, you think? Oh yeah, he seen us. You know who lay down this trail better than I do, miss. How do you know it's going to show up what you after? I just can see you, you know, all up in them gall darn pretty flush. Hold your horse. <laughs> What's this shooting all the time? You trying to tell someone where we at, ain't that so? You're so stupid. You gonna tell me what this is all about? I hate you. Well, she is practicing, Will. Well, what's the matter with you, miss? You got something wrong? Well, she looked like sick, Will. Who touched me? That rider back there, who is he? He's a fallen after us. I don't find out, Will, can't you see? Oh, now what could you done, miss? She's waltzing. Let me help you down off. Say, stop groping at me. Were well, you slipping? I'm not. It's just an excuse to touch me. Will you stop staring at me? Get back up on your horse, Mr. Gashade. You're feeling that fast, miss. Maybe you ought to light down. How much sun's left? 
Yeah. An hour, maybe. Well, we're keeping on the dark, I guess. You don't like her much, Will, do you? She ain't showing me nothing to like. But you're going along with her then because she's pretty. Hell. Pretty ain't nothing. It'll pleasure you nothing but the eye. Why, a coral snake, it's ringed pretty in a rainbow, but it's got a real mean way of painting, is a fact. Well, I'm glad, then. You ain't crazy after her. No. It's just a feeling I got to see through. Just that. The reason being, because I am. And I wouldn't want us getting touchy over Miss... her. Just try and forget about her, Coley. Because she's got other interests than you. Saying what, Will? Saying I pretty much believe she means to kill someone. <laughs> Tea. Tea? I got tea. See? How about that? Ask her if she want a cold oyster and a spoon. I've seen him got a special. Tea. Special tea. Tea. Look. Layling's Cut Black Comfort Tea. Foresight R.I. What are you working on him for? He's easier than you. He don't see what I see. Maybe he's the more useful to me. You think that he's going to be able to lead you on this trail in this policeo, huh? If you won't, maybe. Maybe nothing, miss. He may go panting after you like a little doggy, but he can't lead you nowhere. Well, he can't stop me either. Now leave me alone and let me sleep. What's the matter? He wouldn't give the wrong signal for you this time. Which is me, huh? Come in or stay off. Who's out there? Who is it? No, please. Don't put your hand anywhere near your gun. He can see you.
What's the trouble? Nothing, Billy. It was a mistake. A mistake? That one we've seen way back, ain't he? What you want with him? He did something. See how she looked like him? Hell, I don't see that. He's about as unfriendlike a thing as I ever seen. No, sir, I don't like him. Well, I hope you're gonna keep that to yourself, Cody. Why should I? What do I care? For the reason being that there's a hired gun if ever I seen one. I don't want you to do nothing to put yourself in the way of it, okay? Well, if you say, okay. Shoot. Real strong on the pretty, ain't he? The way he got himself up. Just a game. You're supposed to get them little buckshot in the feller's eyes, see? The same into his mouth. It's real hard to do. I ain't been able to yet. This is Billy Spear. He wasn't to join us until later, but now it doesn't matter. He's here. He'll be going on with us. That figures. Mr. Gashade, but does that figure us now as three or as four? Well, let me see. Whatever you brought him along for, one thing it ain't is for falling sign. Or you wouldn't have to shoot up half the countryside to get him here. So, figuring it that way, I ain't displaced and I'm still earning my pay. Well, hey, you got them in, every one of them. How about that? Hey, I got another one, too. But with a nigger's face. You want to try? Good, then. I hope we'll make an effort now to all try and get along. So, we'll get started, say, in three hours. Say, sun up. These are the last trees you're gonna see for a while. So if you're planning to shoot anything else up, then... Yes, sir. These here appear to be as fresh as yesterday's, miss. And there ain't no hurry to them. Like they don't think they're being followed and they don't care. It shouldn't take us too much longer to catch up to them, should it? Yeah, miss. I say they. The one we've been following got joined a little ways back by another. These tracks is made by two horses. Two men. Let's go. Hold on, miss. Leave me alone, Gashade. But I can see the trail easily. I don't even need you. Thank you. 
Hey, you got no wipes? Here, you can use mine. Move along. that horse going lame? No, no. That ain't gonna make no difference to the horse. It's gonna make a difference to you, that's all. Being it's your grub you're tossing off, not mine. You're willing to instruct everything. Even yourself. <sighs> Quit with that. I say something to you. I don't give a curly hair, yellow beard, double dog damn if you did. I'm going to blow your face off. You're gonna be pretty nasty for him. You wanna walk? No, but hell, why wouldn't she get on behind me? If you don't shake your mind loose of her, I got no respect for you, damn it. You don't remember her near shooting your head off? Will? What? I got a funny feeling. I don't even know if to say or not. Well, don't then. Just try shutting up, damn it. I don't want to lose this horse. Okay, okay. Well, it, I'm likely to spook him again anyhow. Triple them wages and triple them again, I ain't going that far. And you just move to me one more time about her, and I'm going to knock you down without a word. I wasn't talking about her. Well, you went and give up your horse to her so easy, it makes me sick. And here you are now, burden of mine. I'm sorry, Willie. Well, just shut up. I can't take no more of you. No, sir. For all the dirty, rotten, galling hate of a thing that ought never above the ground be called a woman. No, sir. I've lost it. Will you please go ahead now? Take on Cody, then. Right down and change the damn pack. No. You take him. You want to ride with me, boy? Leave him. You better be japing. I ain't. Mr. Gachet, it's not a bad idea. We'll make better time, and then we can come back for him. You'll need this pack, Colin. Take it off. Will? It's all right. You ain't staying. You see? You see, just this minute he's taking up time. I have to insist that he stays. Come on. Let's get back up here, Coley. He'll ride you just fine. See the way of it, Coley. You'll be all right here. You just bite it easy. I'll come back for you. How long do you think that'll be, Will? Bring me over the guns, boy.
Not long. They ain't got left but one sack of grub. And no way of knowing it, I ain't gonna lead them straight into hell. Move on. Coley? Find some shade. Oh, wait, miss. Can I get my things out of there? I almost forgot. Thank you, Chloe. It's all right. See y'all later, I guess. You want to ride with me, boy? Okay. I do not get left behind here like this. How'd you like the way I done Leland Drum? Like I say, I'll blow it off the first word out. Go sit down over there. And think on this. Far as your voice gone carry, ain't too far for me to turn right round and hit you in the eye. Brain's gonna fry out here, you know that? Oh, it's easier to stay behind. If I let you go, too, would you go? Do you hear what I'm saying? I could have left any time. I'm talking about now. I got my reasons for staying. Reasons? There ain't gonna be no kill. The reason, Mr. Gachet, for a hunt is the kill. Are you talking to me? No, Billy. Feel like you was. It was just to myself. I've read a person's thoughts many times. You never take those off, do you? Are you talking to me? Not even with a woman. What do you have to say? He knows why you're here. I wouldn't worry after your friend, you know. He's got a real relaxing time compared to us. No. That's right. No worries. He's where I want him. Back there. Clear and safe of you.
Look at that. You know him? She paying you good for this? Good as you. Twice as much wouldn't buy you off. Yeah, I figured you'd likely do it for nothing. Nearly nothing. What for? You know anything about her? Her name, even? Ask her. What lies in that direction? the same? No, but beyond that. Kingsley. You're right. Kingsley, Gachet, not hell. What about him? He don't interest you? No, not now. His leg's broken. Who is he? Just a friend. Friend, huh? Like me and him? Yes, like you and Billy. Where's his horse? I don't see no horse. He must have wandered away. You thinking of Coley? Yeah. He could have used it. Being as you're leaving that poor Jay laying out there staring up at the sun. I left him some water. Well, ain't that something? Why'd you just shoot him? <laughs> Billy, did you ever leave behind a friend? I never did have one. How about you, Willett? It's different. He's better off where he's at. This morning. Let's eat him. No, Billy. You don't want any? It's candy. 
It's all I gotta give. I'm sorry. Don't mention it. And I'm, I'm real sorry, too. I can't help you none. Being as I gotta catch him as fast as I can. Yonderly? That way, you say. Hmm? Oh, oh, sure. I'll, I'll be back for you. Me and Will. I hate to leave you laying, you know. Oh, say. Here, now. You, you take one of these, too. Well, which one do you like? That one? I'm surprised. Most people wouldn't have chose that one. Huh? What? I said it's all gone. I don't like that, what you're doing. This horse is going. Saw's hand. How long to catch up? It depends. And who's going to last? Him or you?
Why did you do that? If he draw on me first, he was going to shoot, ask him. It's too bad. But he should have stayed behind. He didn't like me. That's why. He should have known to not draw on me. What are you doing? I know that feeling, Gashade. I've carried the burden of it longer than you. That would be your final foolishness, you know. You hate me, too? Get down. Keep falling. Keep falling. Can you see him? Making for that ride. 